Welcome to the Black Exchange with the Salt and Pepper Gang. I'm your host, Terrence. We're going to have a conversation talking about balancing work and relationships, uh, a couple dynamics, seeing how that works out. Mm-hmm. Um, man, because I stay tuned. It's going to be a good one. <laughs> Welcome back to the Black Exchange. It's the, with the Salt and Pepper Gang. I'm your host, Terrence. And I'm Big L. Hey, we appreciate y'all tuning in. Uh, we're going to have a discussion talking about balancing work and relationships. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I've done oil and gas. So, I mean, those of y'all that know what that's like, that's, that's a whole creature in itself trying to even get into a relationship and find somebody. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I, I know my, my experience with that is, is I, I did oil and gas, especially before the pandemic, mm-hmm. probably late 2019, it was really popping. And I mean, I didn't, I didn't have a life. I didn't have anything but work. So yeah. uh, I was in both actually retail and oil and gas. So it didn't, that was, that was kind of the downfall of one of, you know, a, a relationship that was, that was pretty deep that I didn't make time. I didn't have the time to balance that, that, that work family balance and it, it, it actually was a you know one of the causes of, of my you know downfall on that because I thought that providing was the number one thing for for my family and it, and it wasn't um, if you don't have the time to be there how can you balance it so it wasn't a good thing it wasn't a good thing so I'm glad back. we're talking about that so. um, and for myself um, I actually was in a relationship at one point doing oil and gas and you know, b- because I was focusing yep. so much time on on just work, I was on my grind. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't that I didn't that I was spending time with anybody else, but I was just so focused on you know stacking my paper and getting in my hours. I mean, they was giving away overtime. Like, Whew. man, when they That's give away that want. overtime, it's I mean, you be motivated a little different. Mm-hmm. So um, you know, I wasn't really putting in that quality time like I should. And and the relationship, you know. It, when, when did it's you start? Suffering. When did you start seeing that? Uh, when did you start seeing that the the, the spiral down? Was Man, it years? I, was it months? Was it, it was months. Really? So because the paper is there is why I said that. Right. I mean, because you, I feel like those first couple months, you know, when you really just hitting it, time flies. Yeah. Right. And so, you know, after a couple months, you're like, well, you know, maybe I haven't, you know, and you try to you try to play catch up, and I mean, with that oil and gas schedule. I mean, real talk, I mean, even when you plan something, it might be Friday, Friday night, you getting off in 45 minutes. Mm. You done already told baby that you, you on your way. She hey, get dressed, I'm on my way. And two minutes before you walk out that door, they, they saying, hey, um, we got an we gotta order we need to finish. We, we need, yeah, we need y'all to stay and stick around. Oof. And, you know, baby don't be too understanding that the shit and I already got the mm, hair. I'm still going. Forget that. <laughs> My mind was set. I got these heels on I just bought. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, I mean, in that, you know, sometimes you need somebody that's going to be understanding if that's your work work life and your style. And um, it may not be your necessarily your style, but um, if that's what you got going on, make sure you have somebody that's supportive because... I mean, mm. I know what the other side of that is, and having somebody that wants you to choose between work and spending quality time, that, that can be a, a rough conversation. Definitely, especially when you come home. So you get in the pickle face and, and all that stuff when you walk in the door and it's 11 o'clock, knowing you got to get back up at 4 o'clock or 5 o'clock or whatever the situation is. So it's it's definitely it's hard for that woman to have to adjust now if it's somebody who understands that world um and accepting it you know but man i was dealing with both sides of, the, of that coin so retail is is crazy from seven in the morning to 10 30 11 o'clock at night can literally take a toll not on your body but your family it's like you, you can't go to games you can't you can't do the traveling as much you got to put you know it's just it's you have to go years and with retail and all the, all the other stuff you have to make sure that um, you know that you have the time off and take the time off. If you got three weeks vacation, take your freaking vacations. Yeah. Trust me. Whether it's Thursday, Friday through Sunday or whatever it is, take your three four day vacations yeah. and make sure that you put that time in with your family. Right. Because I promise you, you're gonna feel it. 
And I, I'll say <laughs> this, one of the most precious things that you can give somebody is your time. For sure. and, I, and I say that a lot, you know, if you have time, I mean, that's special. I know my time's very valuable. So, you know, and then on that other hand, make sure you find you somebody who appreciates you giving your time, you yeah. know. The, Absolutely. Not everybody's gonna see it, and not everybody's gonna appreciate that. Man. So, and and we got and, and we got some statistics that come up with with this with this this time of of, of how much and 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 the percentages of, of, of where we are. <laughs> but golly, it's it's yeah, so it's crazy. Check this. So I got a relationship statistic here, and it says when it comes to relationships and stress, mm -hmm. about fifty percent of couples cited having with citing financial issues being the major source of stress in their relationship Ooh, so God. financial issues so if we you know maybe we're not working enough mm. so um it's tough that, that there, it goes right back to the balance though here we but, go but man. i've been there you know especially you know now being an actor uh, working for myself entrepreneur um money money goes up and down yeah. were and, you the only breadwinner not a, sometimes okay. right okay. so I, I i feel like there was times you know when i when i was again when i was doing oil and gas and the money was just it was raining Boring. on me yeah. but half the time i was too sleepy to spend it yeah. and uh too too you know busy to actually do anything with it yeah and so. and my brother and like like my brother works from monday through thursday so his friday is thursday to for a chemical plant so that's the perfect job to me when it comes to you know the oil and gas side but right everybody don't have that same shit you know so you have to get to a point and I'll, here we go right back to communication sit down and talk talk with your spouse talk with your your, your significant other and just make sure that the things that you're doing is is okay what do you need me to do to make this right yeah. so if you're spending that much time at, at the workplace and he was like, hey, that one day that I do have off, we're going to promise ourselves, pinky swear, write it down, take a picture, I don't, you know, whatever it is, to actually go on a date. You know, nothing mm -hmm. should change. Your lifestyle shouldn't change. If you have kids, do a family um, family date or whatever it is that y'all do that y'all enjoy. And just make sure that you're not the person that's going to the bars and it was like, well, now I'm going to chill with the fellas. And you got a whole family. You ain't been home the whole week. And you get the one day off, and here we go with, with the fights because you're not spending that time. Right. Then it goes right back to, well, Charles, you know, Charles was at, you know, <laughs> at so-and-so and so-and-so, so I spent time with Charles, and you're like, well, who the f***ing is Charles? Well, so, so here we go. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, that, I, it's, that still goes back to communication. Mm -hmm. So if, if you know your, your job takes a lot from you, right. then, you know, when you even meeting somebody initially, you got to let them know that um hey this is what my schedule's like mm -hmm. and you know i'm i'm not very flexible are are you okay with that right. and if you're not okay with that um you know i want you to really put thought in whether or not this is even something you want to put time in and invest into but you want you have to want to though that, yeah. that's the thing how bad do you, do you guys want to do it together if you mm -hmm. just say well i don't care as long as the money coming in that's gonna be short lived. Yeah. I promise you. And 90%. people make time for what they want to make time for all and the time. We're talking about men and women, so so <laughs> don't be acting like just the men workaholics and all that stuff. Women who are business owners, anything of that nation, you know, you have to put a lot of your time into it. Sit down with which he might be cool with. It's like you so, know, and and, and and I will say this: we had a comment about um, kids needing your time too. Sure. So. I hear it a lot, and, I, and I've had friends come and, and um, look back on maybe past situations when it comes to their kids and, and trying to put in work and trying to provide and put that roof and give them, give them all those things that, you know, we didn't have. We're trying to provide those things. Right. But a lot of times we neglect to, to give them that extra time. And more than anything, I, and I know for myself, because I, I was a single child till I was 15, that out of all the things that were provided the Nintendos and the Game Boys and all those things was, was great, don't get me wrong, yeah, yeah, yeah. but that valuable time, having somebody come to your football game, having them, you know, like yeah. you said last, the other week, having doing dads coming to the PTA meetings, not the right. moms not always being right. there. Right. Um, so that quality time, 
um, with the kids is is so so very important because they see all those things and it affects them a lot whether you think it does or not and then we always look at at, at the at the growing up stages of, of my dad wasn't always there right but dad was always trying his best to be the provider right and then you get the single parent homes and it's like okay you got to go to dad's house and here we go <laughs> now nah, well i ain't have a great connection with my father i didn't have that you know why he was working he was right. doing this or i'm sorry to say it but there were some deadbeat dads out there or still are you know and here we go with that so here we go mom having to balance that work you know, and family, but she's doing it by herself. Right. So we get in both sides of the fence, but the two parent homes is, is rough because usually, you know, 90% of the time it's the woman doing everything because the man is out trying to grind it out. And, and it ended up, you know, end up being a tough thing for both situations. So again, yeah. it, it's a sit down and talk. Uh, let's work this thing out together, find out what's the best for our family and we'll go from there. So yeah. communication is key. Let's go right back to it and compromise. Yeah. We talked about that this weekend. So I and, and I was actually thinking about this the <laughs> other day. Um, when 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 you meeting somebody, mm -hmm. for me personally, I wanna ask, are you happy at your job? Wow. Are you happy? Because I mean to for me that's huge to deal with somebody and, and maybe deal with somebody is not necessarily the right term, but to, to be in a situation where you're in a relationship with somebody who don't like their job and, and, and has a hard time going to work and then a lot of times will bring those stresses and, and all that drama that they got at work home, mm -hmm. that can be, that can kill a relationship stress, real quick. Stress, stress, So, stress you know, I, I like to ask, you know, not necessarily what you do and I don't really care what you do, but right. do you like your job? Are you, are you happy with the things that you do? Can you keep them stresses at work and not at home? Yes. That's what he's really trying to say. Just say it, yes. man. Leave, you ain't coming that, home slapping me, Excuse guy. me, leave that bullshit at, <laughs> right. at Outside the door, don't bring that bullshit back in the house. <laughs> right. So, you Cause know. Because, again, we go back to, I don't know if it was second or third podcast, we were talking about your peace is your, is, your, is your home. Your peace is where as soon as you clock out, get in your vehicle, you coming home or you calling in, hey, babe, I'm on my way home, blah, blah, blah. You need to pick up anything. Yeah. That was a habit for me. But when I walk in that door, I wanted my peace. Just give me my 30 minutes. Right. Give me my 45 <laughs> minutes. Let me get my cold one, a cold wine, a no cold glass of wine, a cold yeah. bit, whatever it is. A and sandwich. Whatever you need. Hey, a sandwich cook. go a long way. That, man, I'm telling you. If you just, just roll something out, unthought of meat or something, but just have me, just give me 20 minutes no. to just really just get my mind and say, I'm home. Everything is winding down. Let's now let's start the day, start the night, whatever it is, so we can have a better, you know, the rest of the night before I go to bed. Is to have that relationship with my family. So. Yeah, um, I got a, you know, I got another statistic. Mm -hmm. um, let's see, working remotely has been on the rise. Approximately up to forty-two percent of U.S. labor work workers are working from home at some extent. Mm -mm. You want me to go with that one? Yeah, th give that me what is, you got. That is nerve-wracking as hell. Is what <laughs> I heard. Because now you want that person to be away. <laughs> and now that you're with them 24 seven, pretty much you like, go, go out, get away from me. <laughs> so here we go with the balance thing again. It's like, dude, stop. Tell me what you need me to do. I'll go work at Starbucks for eight hours if you need me to, if you need that space Please, for yourself. Hey, some of y'all need to get away from each other for a little bit. For real. And, uh, for real. Hey, what's up Rico? <laughs> um, but yeah, some of y'all need to get away for a little bit. Yeah, had that time to, so that you can miss each other. Yeah, you know sometimes you got to get away for a little bit yeah. so you can realize you miss that person. Yes, but if y'all up underneath each other and both y'all working remote. I mean, I, I think domestic violence was on yeah. the rise. <laughs> Man, I was nope. slapped. You got one more time. I'm slapped. I'm yeah. slapped. But you can't if you don't have that that talk and say, listen, you know, this time is what I need. Go out with the fellas. Ladies, you know, lady, go out with your your friends or whatever, and y'all have that communication. Then y'all might need to do that, but y'all need to come to a conclusion of we need to work this thing out before it gets to a point to where I'm hating you for being around me too much. Right. So, so I mean, there's a lot of codependent people out there, but we're not gonna touch too much on that right, right now. We're actually gonna take a break real quick, and we'll be right back. This is the Black Exchange with the Salt and Pepper Gang. <laughs>
Welcome back to the Black Exchange with the Salt and Pepper Gang. So today we're having a discussion uh, balancing work and relationships. Um, but really, before we get too far into that, we had a great weekend. We got to do some shout outs to the people that showed us love. Um, Morehouse. Morehouse. Absolutely. Appreciate hey. you. That was that was amazing and gratifying and humbling all at the same time. Um, Miss Deborah, thank you for allowing us that opportunity, inviting us out. April, um, thank you so much. We really truly appreciate Sherry, that from the doc. Yes, everybody. Sherry, Michelle, uh, just everybody. So, uh, Tyrone, your people, I appreciate you. <laughs> Uh, I ain't getting none of that, man. Hey, <laughs> I'll get, I met, man, they had some neck bones and bring us none. <laughs> so, but uh, wow. Uh, not only that, the, the actual kids that we spoke to on on the panel, um, I think we've seen all walks of life when they ask their questions. So, mm. from relationships to to you can see the you know the troubled kids, you can see the the, the, the kids who had man, they had a young man that, that that literally spoke on someone else's life, and they were right there, man. Mm. This guy was his intellect was so high that and I could man I wanted to talk to that kid after and yeah. just give him his props like dude that was an amazing answer he said man I'm you know I'm one of those guys that didn't adjust to my father being this or my stepfather or something he, he right, was something right. I was like yeah speaking to the effect of man um, a new person a, a new a person little. coming into the relationship uprooting seeds that had already been planted. Um, and he didn't so want that didn't saying right. Something, it was something about rules and something like he adjusted and man, his answer was so phenomenal, man. I was like, these kids right. are on it. So, so. and then, uh, and oddly enough, the main question, a lot of things that we are getting from these young kings and these young guys, um, and if you don't know, Morehouse is an all male mm -hmm. HBCU, mm -hmm. um, but they they wanted to know about how to balance school and relationships. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times, you know, having somebody who wants your time in the midst of you trying to, to shine and, and grow and, and be in your element uh, can be difficult. Yeah. And man, and not only that, you know, it just even after we finished the panel, the, the event was over. These kids were still coming up to us and having questions. And man, when I say showed us love and they, they were curious about certain things and we, you know, we exchanged numbers and, and, and IGs and all the other stuff, man. And, and it really worked out well. We did a tour um, immediately after. So if y'all go to our pages, uh, I don't know if Rico posted, but we posted on our pages as well. So you get to see the tour that we had. I mean, it was absolutely amazing seeing, you know, the, the, the black men and women that represented you know, Morehouse, it was white too. So it was some yeah. white guys too. So Gandhi's and, and, and all, <laughs> I seen the Gandhi wife and all that. I'm like, man, yeah. this is amazing. So um, everything that we seen was just, it was an impactful uh, event. The tour was great. And then, you know, even after that, the yacht parties and, the, and man, we had and, and a ball. So it, well, was, it, was, it was gratifying, <laughs> amazing. Oh um, it was such a great experience. And, and I can't wait yeah. to go all over the rest and, and visit y'all wherever y'all are at. Yeah. and uh, come and speak and, and just have conversation. And we will be um, posting that YouTube um, actually right after, probably right after this podcast. So yeah. just make sure you guys check it out. Give us your opinion. And, and if you got people that know people that know people, you want us to speak at your, your college event or you want to set up something like that, I mean, again, we have the resources and we're willing to do it. So yeah. just make sure that you guys are, are really open-minded about it. And if it's kids that need that help or need that positive, you know, motivational word from, from, from guys who are not only married, but dating and single and, 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 and been through college and been to the military right. and all that, all that world, you say, man, I'm, I'm kind of on the fence about different things about life and I want to change some things. We hit everything. Let's, Let's have that so, conversation because oh there's, there's so many different perspectives, yeah. so much knowledge and, and so much that needs to be shared. And all we need is a platform. That's it. So that's it. Yeah. Um, what else do we do, man? We so but here in Houston, but they they had the the billionaires ball. Oh yes, yes. And that 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 was here. We had a couple of our guys uh, b being able to attend that. So I had I seen a couple videos on it. It was looking kind of spicy in there. Uh, uh, yeah, look at yeah, yeah. I don't know. It was like a belly dancer in there or something, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Belly. Yeah, is so this, we got a lot of things going on, yeah. 
Uh, if you'd like to be a sponsor for the Salt and Pepper Gang or the Black Exchange, uh, please reach out. If you have an event, if you have a, if you have somebody in your home and maybe that young man or that young lady um, needs somebody to speak to, and may, maybe you feel like you've exhausted everything that you can do, and you just need somebody to have a conversation with somebody that you care about or, or, or a young man or young lady in your home, um, reach out. So I know I'm always available, shoot me a DM. I try to get through everything um, and, and respond. But if you have a situation, you know, I always say the worst thing you can do is not say anything. Mm -hmm. So I don't think you have the answer, you don't. You know. <laughs> and, and we had one, one of the, um, the, the, actually someone that was in the audience saying that they couldn't get through to a kid. Right. So he was saying, hey, if you guys have any solutions, um, no matter what we try, we can't, we can't get through to this kid. But he don't realize is, is that you might get to everybody but one. But we would look at it as, have you tried to talk to the parents? Have you tried to put on like a, someone that motivates him that can get through to him? You never know. So stop thinking as a parent, as a mentor, as a, as a, as a teacher, whatever, that you have all the answers. You don't. Right. You don't. How do you get into that mind of, of that kid who's struggling? How do you get into the mindset of, of that kid who's stressed or suicidal? Oh, right. And we've seen kids that was literally out there asking questions for us to pick their brain. Right. Because they were on the break of, man, listen, I need something positive right now, and yeah. it's tough right now. And I even had uh, one young man who yes, came up to me, enough. and um, he had been sitting in the back of the classroom and, and uh, didn't really speak, but at the end of the, the forum, he had came up to me and, and wanted to question me just what should he do about being lonely? Um, oh, wow. And, and, it, and it really hit me hard because I could see and I can sense in this young man that he was really dealing with something um, that he didn't know how to deal with. Mm -hmm. And you know, you, you, you try to provide information or you try to give them suggestions. Um, but on, honestly, the, the things that I was telling them, I don't feel, I don't know, necessarily know, feel like they were necessarily making them feel better. Mm -hmm. um, so in that, you, you partly have to also understand that you're not going to be able to necessarily reach everybody that comes across you, but just to do your due diligence, try to listen. Um, so we end up sending a message to see if we could reach out to this young man and send somebody just to go check on him. Yeah. So, you know, and a lot of times that's, that's just what we all need is somebody yeah. just to reach out and check on you. Yeah. Um, we actually, um, you know, we sit on IGs and phone numbers, man, if you need to talk to anybody, you don't feel like you have anybody to talk to. Yeah. You know, we was like, hey, come talk to us after the, after the event right. and we'll be happy to DM, DM us or whatever, if, call us. And please. If, if, help, man. Now, That's I'm not going to give you all my number right here, but you could probably find it anyway. Sure. But if you needed that, please reach out to my DM. I will give you my personal number so that if you needed to talk. Um, because that's very important. Mental yeah. health is huge. Um, and, and a lot of it is just being able to get those things out and communicate and, and just be able to vent sometimes. So, sure. sure. Yeah. Um, shouts out to Richard of poor. Is that what it is? Richard poor. Yes. Blue Martini. I think that's what we represented there as well. Right. right. So some great places that, uh, that showed us a lot of love, man. So, you know, uh, all the places that we went this weekend, uh, was absolutely amazing. Look forward to, to seeing them next year. Uh, we did get the invite um, next yes. year to go back. So thank you, Morehouse. We will be back, back next right. year. Um, right. That's that's amazing. Thank you so much. For sure. So looking forward to more too. More H, um, HBCUs. Uh, please reach out um, if y'all need us to you know touch bases. And it doesn't have to always be male. Again, we we're we're a mentorship you know group that male or female we right. reach out to anybody who needs that, and, that, right. that guidance that and i think i've seen a question on there about do we do one-on-one -on -one mentorship absolutely yeah. so yeah. um whether that's male female if it's, it's all about having the conversation and providing insight and you know perspective so you know if there's any time i can ever help i that's that's what i'm about that's where my heart's at um i love to motivate that's why i'm in fitness mm -hmm. so you know um, and that, that could be another part of it is, is tapping into that, that fitness part because a lot of us aren't comfortable in our own skin sometimes. So um, Speak up. Speak yeah. up. Um, and, that's, and that's parents too. If you see a, a child that you feel like is just, is just really quiet, he just, it, maybe he just can't get, you can't get through him as a parent. Just 
he just he or she became that person. Yeah. And and here we are. We might get through him. It's like no, he was abused, and he or she was abused, and didn't even know. Right. So, guys, we we we, we talk to these schools and from elementary, middle school, high school, colleges, whatever it is, even on the street, churches, we don't care. We just want to get through. That's who we are as a group. The Salt and Pepper Gang is not about just suits and, and ties and looking good. We right. want to get into the community and make an impact. So we expect you guys to come at us, DM us, uh, DM us and Ask us, us questions. Yeah. You, you want to know now, more about what know. we do. Yeah, absolutely. Right. So um, definitely, uh, again, thank you, Morehouse, man, for everything. The whole weekend was, was absolutely phenomenal. The tour. Um, man, just the pictures on the wall from, from Oprah to Man, there's so there is so much history <laughs> yeah. in that place. It's yeah, it's amazing. Crazy. A lot of love. Man. Yeah. A lot of love. Man. So we got we gonna we're gonna touch a little bit more on this topic. Okay. So work life balance and a survey conducted in 2021 showed that sixty six percent of employees reported that they struggle with maintaining healthy uh, work balance. Wow. So sixty six percent out there struggling to find balance within, you know, just going wow. to work in life. So how you, so, so, you know, we're asking the questions and, and, and we are live. So you guys can ask, ask, you know, how do you feel about your relationship? Is that something do y'all just go to it to, you know, if you're working remotely, do y'all go to each, each corner of the house? Do y'all get away <laughs> from each other? Is that a better deal for you guys? You know, uh, you know, ask that question. Just yeah. like I seen one young lady, um, you know, she said communicate, execute, or communicate, plan, and execute, which is fantastic. But it starts off with what? You just said the communication. Right, we, don't, right. we don't know. Again, we just talked about the panel, and we can't read your minds, ladies. Uh, ladies, y'all can't read our minds, but communication, sit down and talk about it, mm. I guarantee you can solve a lot of deals. So, um, you know, 66% is pretty high. Uh, I'm going to be totally honest with you. But if you open your mouth, we can lower that percentage in no time. I promise you that. Yeah. But, you know, statistically, um, could we do better? I don't care what level it is, from a corporate level to retail to oil and gas to entrepreneurship, running your own business, whatever it is, you have to find that balance with each other. So sit down and talk. Sit down yeah. and have your glass of wine. <laughs> deek, deek, deek. And, and, you know, and really, you know, hash it out. And communicate. Absolutely. So, I'll, you know, I always say if closed mouths don't get fed. Mm -hmm. So if you're not communicating, you're not saying the things that you want, you can't expect that other person to just automatically know because maybe you possibly had a conversation about it months ago, right. but you haven't brought it up since then. Right. So, you know, sometimes memories can be short. Um, I know my memory be bad sometimes, and then sometimes it's great. Right. So, um, communicate. Compromise. Communicate and compromise. 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 I promise you. It, uh, you know what? I'm going to do better. And, you know, this is, what, what was the other one that uh, she said was huge, man? And, oh, oh uh, holding yourself accountable. Yeah, be accountable. So if be you're it. not doing them things and somebody brings it to your attention, you don't be all in your feelings. Yeah, Just you receive that and then think, okay, why is this person coming to me? Right. And how can I, how can I resolve it? Right. What do I need to do to make this person feel differently about what they're coming to me about yeah. Um, yeah. that part but anyway hey this is uh the black exchange with the salt and pepper gang we appreciate you and we'll be right back welcome back to the black exchange with the salt and pepper gang y'all i'm terrence and i'm big l so man balancing work relationships and mm -hmm. uh Man, the stress, <laughs> the stresses of trying to balance yeah. relationships. So let me ask you, have you ever been in a situation where somebody was <clears throat> wanting you to choose between work and, and them? Absolutely. Absolutely. So absolutely. So that what was, happened? That was actually my last serious relationship. That was one of the my downfalls was was me grinding too hard for my family. Yeah. And then I ended up paying the price for that. So it was more of a either you take a lower position, um, which the money wasn't it wasn't you know too far off, but it's it, it would give me more time to say hey hey you going in at seven in the morning get off at seven whatever right. it is. But um, if you don't do this, and it, it was tough. I'm like man. So you got so that. you got the ultimatum. Yeah, I got the ultimatum. But right. you know it worked out because. Um, I ended up getting promoted, but it was it was a promotion to one store instead of the seven that I had. 
right. at the time. So I went from regional to a general manager on purpose. So it was like, okay, now let me work this out because it's going to help not only me but my family. And it worked yeah. out well, but, you know, so. you, you still want to go get those numbers because the bonus checks are, you know, ten and 15000 And you're like, hey, you know, I can you get feel that a little again. Di- you feel a little different. I can get it again if you let me go get these hours. <laughs> I'm like, no, 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 we agreed. So yeah. here we are with the the compromise and, and, you know, holding yourself accountable and say, I was wrong. Um, it's too much on my plate right now, so let me take a step back and, and do better for my family. Yeah. If it's worth the fight. Because some people ain't worth the fight. So. Yeah. And everybody ain't worth losing that job. Sure. And uh, so, you know, you got to choose wisely uh, when it comes to balancing those things out. Mm-hmm. And uh, if you got somebody who ain't contributing, they ain't about shit, they ain't going to be shit, <laughs> then you might want to keep your job. Right. So. <laughs> <laughs> But um, I have a, a, a statistic as well. 26% of people reported that the workplace relationships affected their ability to schedule vacations. How do you guys feel about that? So yeah. if you have two to three weeks vacation, you know, how does that affect your work? Do you want to work so much that you don't take vacations? Do you even take pride in your, your vacations? What do you do to make sure that you're giving not only yourself but your wife or significant other or even your family your full family yeah. that 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 vacation time how many i mean vacation or, or you maybe you just holding on to all that time for no damn reason yeah you yeah. you done worked at this well, place for six over. or seven years <laughs> and you ain't never take a vacation right. right and you right now you sitting on five six months of vacation right right go treat yourself Right. So I'll, there's no reason for you to wait. You do not know what's going to happen tomorrow. They will, might let your ass go. Please take time and, and use those things while you have advantage and, and treat yourself. And I you, always thought, I always thought, this, this sucked. I always thought that my job needed me to be there. No, they don't. <laughs> if they fire your ass, if you, if you get laid off, they just go hire somebody else right. <laughs> and keep it pushing. Stop thinking that if you if you miss that one day of work or two days or a week or four days that you take the vacation, that everything is going to be cool. Listen, yeah. you'd rather lose your family than take a vacation when you think thinking that company needs you every day. Yeah. I, I always say <laughs> at least spend a portion of the time putting in that same work yeah. effort yeah. that you do for the yeah. people who won't give you time off, don't care if you sick don't care if your baby's sick right right get your own quality time in there because I, I i will say when i left the oil and gas i actually prayed about it um and i asked god to give me the ability to go do my passion and give me right. some elbow room to do the things that i that i had the passion to do right. and, and it wasn't that well it wasn't even a nine to five i was doing 12 and 14 hour shifts um but he laid me off and, and honestly, I will say from the time that he laid me off, I have never looked back. I have never felt so gratified and working for myself. There's, there's nothing like it. I wouldn't want to ever work for anybody else. I might do something on the side, you know, for my side hustle. But when it comes to working for yourself and, and paying your own stuff and, and making your own schedule and being accountable for if you, if you don't take care of it, ain't nobody else going to take care of it. So it's, it's a, a, a certain amount a discipline that comes with that but i definitely would never go back yeah and definitely guys ladies speak up speak up do not go through life and you say well you know hey when, when is the next vacation day that's that mean you and the hubby and already don't wait don't do you got somebody to go on <laughs> right. a vacation right. i know there's a lot of people out there saying oh i don't want to do that, or that and i'm not saying go to columbia and get kidnapped but wow. <laughs> <laughs> but go on vacation and treat yourself even if it's somewhere local um find you a group there's plenty of groups out there if you're not you know you don't have friends that do that you can join a group and and go treat yourself and stop thinking that vacations are away they they're they're called staycations too yeah so you might just go get a hotel just to get the hell away from the norm you know, go on the other side of town. Take a trip. Go yeah, to Louisiana. Spe- especially you know, if you're like already in a relationship awesome. you and know. you know you got kids, it's okay. Go get a room down the street yeah. And, yeah. and get that quality time in if that's what you got to do. So, you know, be spontaneous. You got to be and creative. Outside the box. Dang. Outside, outside the box. box. Yes, absolutely. You know, absolutely. I, 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 I like to be spontaneous yeah. and, and, you know, if you if you creative, we can do it. 
Absolutely. So, but you have to be willing, ladies and gentlemen. Don't you be, have to be willing. If don't be might, talking that scared I shit. I don't, don't want to be around my wife for more than six hours. God, that's a problem, bro. Yeah. That's a problem. Or I don't want to see him because, you know, he's going to piss me out. Well, y'all need to go to counseling. Well, you know what? I say this. <laughs> There's a lot of people getting into relationships with people you don't like. Right. So stop getting into relationships with people you don't really like. Mm -hmm. People that, oh, he's so nice and he buys me stuff, but I'm not attracted to him and the sex is bad. Man, then that's not damn. for you. That's rough, right? Hey, I'm I, out. I, I hear I'm that. Out. I, I hear it I'm more out. more times than you would think. And um, if you're going to be with somebody, make sure you like them. Yeah, absolutely. Take your time. Yeah. Don't rush into that because now I'm intentional. Women, stop saying y'all <laughs> intentional. That's BS, man. <laughs> intentional is, is, is AKA for, for in a hurry. Yeah, yeah, but then you'd be disappointed. You'd be yeah. disappointed. And he's like, man, I should have took my time. You knew that. You knew but that, but you I, said, I, I, I need to be married. No, you don't. No. Now, th there is no insurance when you get into a relationship. When you start dating, it all is coming with a risk. Whether you trying to put yourself out there, getting to know somebody, uh, being intimate, whatever it is, inviting somebody into your home, letting them meet your kids, it all comes with a certain amount of risk. Mm -hmm. Do your due diligence. Find out who you talking to, Right. I know yep. who you're talking to. And again, let's go go back to all the stuff that we just been putting it all together. Compromise, communication, all that same stuff. Consistency. Same stuff. Come on now. So if you're gonna do that, let's tie it back in together. Let's tie it back in together. You guys have to learn how to get along. True love is getting yeah. along. Even when it's tough. And compromise. I'm not going to sleep angry at you. I'm mad as hell, but I ain't Yeah, don't do that. I don't <laughs> Please don't go to bed angry and then wake go up. To work. <laughs> and right. then wake up and continue that bullshit. Right. You know. Let that right. shit go. Don't sweat the small shit. Life is way too short sure. to be arguing and bickering about things that can be resolved with an easy conversation. And you might have heard of, 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 of someone out there that literally you we were arguing and that was the last conversation that you had with that person. They left, got into a car wreck, died. Now you've not only feeling horrible that you lost them. But you felt horrible because y'all y'all could have squashed that and been you know. But he wanted to leave to work. He left early that day when he used to leave at a certain time because y'all spent that quality time. He left early because he was pissed off at you or you was pissed off at her or whatever the situation was, and something happened tragically, and now you lost that person. So and now you can't man, take it back. Man, you can't. It's, it's not worth it, y'all. It's never worth Squash it. Squash that shit. Man. So whether whether it's allowing somebody to have control over you emotionally. So a long time I learned that I have control over myself regardless of how somebody makes me feel, right. right? You can make me feel some type of way, but that doesn't mean you have control over my actions. So go. that part right there, you know, my Kung Fu be real strong when it comes to, to <laughs> that, and I block bullshit all the time. Yeah. But there are times that, you know, sometimes, especially driving in the car, I might get a little road rage. Yeah. And, oh, you know, see, that's it. Um, that's, that's Anthony, by the self -control. way. Self-control. <laughs> oh, that man! We ain't gonna talk about that man driving this weekend. <laughs> no, we're not going there. We're not, we're not gonna get. We're off. not talking about you, Anthony. We're not gonna get off, <laughs> Anthony. God dang! We're, yeah. not, we're not getting off, off off subject here. But yeah, at the point. end of the day, guys, man, you know, sit down, squash that, man. I, I, I'm one of those people that uh, you know that they used to do it, but wore my anger on my sleeve. But I always kept it in, and yeah. then it got to a point where I literally exploded. On, on my staff because of the fact of what was happening at home. Keep your stuff at home. If it's at work, keep it at work. Don't bring that home, man. Because at the end of the day, here we go. You're already not home. Now when you do come home, you fussing at me because you home at 10 o'clock and 11 o'clock and you supposed yeah. to be here at seven. So here here it is, the work life. And you know, you could have cooked dinner. You could have had a, you know, beat her home and rose petaled the house and done something romantic. But Set you the put tone. all your effort into this job because of y'all actions at home. And it's, it's not fair to the woman or the kid. Set the tone for your future expectations. It is. So. It is. And then I also say, you know, that we, we, we got this theme of boss chicks. Now, if you feel like you a boss chick or an alpha chick or you in the corporate and, and you running shit and you used to telling people what to do and, and you that person, mm -hmm. <laughs> then, when be, be that out. when you clock out, leave that at the leave that at the workplace, and you you'll have somebody who you can respect and it can be mutual when you get into the house. But if you bring that boss mess 
into the house, I don't, eh, for me personally, I couldn't do it. Yep. So, you know, find where that, that off switch is and leave the, the, the boss stuff at the house. And when you come in, um, submit. Woo. I know, I what? said it. What was that word? Submit. Now, nah. so, oh, see, that's a whole nother <laughs> That's a whole nother podcast. So. Like, oh, Lord. <laughs> I'm, yeah. the, I'm the brad one. That's the woman saying, I'm the brad one. Wonder why I got to listen to you. Wait, 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 wait. Time yeah, out. You so right. You ain't got to listen to me, but <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not going to be here to say Don't nothing. Do either. it. Don't so, go there. Right. <laughs> Don't go there. I'm just saying, at the end of the day, <laughs> it's 100 100, <laughs> not 50 50. That you part. Give, you give me all of you, I give you all of me. So you guys have to, again, sit down and talk about that balance and, 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 and that work. And make sure that that y'all take that time out to go back to the things that you felt that what got you to fall in love was just dating, wanting to see each other, notes here, a text message about how I feel about you, uh, all that stuff. Never lose what got you together in the first place. So right. Yeah, and, and if you started off being hella intimate and doing freaky shit, don't stop. <laughs> right. Don't stop. You, you get married and well, I got him now, so I ain't got to give him none shit. Mm. That's that's gonna be one of my topics. I'm tell I'm gonna tell you about that topic after we done too, because it's gonna be. <laughs> I don't think I need to discuss that now. Uh, you know, that'd be a whole. Nother, well, go there, go there. Nah, I ain't doing that. Nah, that's a whole other. We we, thing we, we, we we gonna have to do an hour show for that one. Oof. Hour. Man. Yeah. Because it's but, about it might be about side chicks. You never know. <laughs> you never know. What if I would talk about a side chick? What you doing? You know. Yeah, so, <laughs> but, you you near starting to start some. Oh my bad, my bad. Like, I don't want them questions popping up. But um, <laughs> yeah. So we about to wrap things up. I just wanted to thank everybody. To, uh, I want to thank everybody that came out. Yeah. So at the end of the day, uh, we, we talk about everything dealing with statistics, uh, Morehouse, uh, work life balance. At the end of the day, it goes right back to compromise, um, holding yourself accountable, communication. Um, and really and really sitting down and understanding that the balance in your life is really can make or break your marriage your relationship whatever situation that you're in mm. and just make sure that you guys sit down and talk about it run some bath water once you get in y'all sit in a tub together like if y'all got a big enough tub, I'm seven feet so I can't right. get into my well, damn this seven feet so set, I can't get in yeah, yeah. set the tone <laughs> sure. for the conversation right if you know that's gonna be a tough conversation maybe you should do some things to set the mood and, and, and make that conversation a little bit easier. Delivery and packaging goes a long way. And if you put a little bit of effort into that, you'll be amazed the things you can it. get out of that. Just try so it. again, appreciate you. This is the Black Exchange with the Salt and Pepper Gang. Please like, comment, <laughs> let us know what you like, and uh, ask questions, and we'll be back. So next time, y'all. <laughs>